Azure TWC coming at you. Hey, Corey here with another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about one of the announcements that we made at Ignite and sort of where we're going with this uh, moving into the future. Uh, and so one of the big things that we've been super excited about is this new template-based language, right? Um, and so this new template-based language, which you know I'm sure uh, you've seen and I've talked about before, allows you to sort of create uh, different parts uh, of your template. Uh, uh, and so it's sort of a big JSON file, uh, and it allows you to piece together the template uh, parts of your application uh, into uh, distinct little sections. And so, as part of your template, you can you know make your create your NIC here. Uh, you maybe want to create your storage account and your disks, right? And so this translates into a, into a into a NIC. I don't know. That's a that's a NIC. Uh, and then, of course, you've got disks, and so that I can draw, right? It translates into a disk. And then you basically say this virtual machine is tied to these guys, right? And so this is my actual compute VM. You know, let's say it's sort of the D4 size, right? And so this actually spins up the VM, right, that's then going to connect to this disk, going to connect to this NIC, and now I've got traffic, and now I've got sort of my happy running VM. And it's all c c composed into this single file, so you can do it once, twice, three times, dot, dot, dot and away you go. You can do it uh, many, many times and it'll always appear the same way. You can build dependencies between VMs, this one to this one. Uh, you can actually have dependencies with things like SQL DB. So SQL DB, then this VM, you can pass parameters and all of this. It's very exciting, it's very cool stuff and it allows you to build a lot of great applications and you can see some of these uh, actually on our website and you know, you'll see them down below. But here's the problem. This is sort of some of the things that we're working on. We demoed a little bit at Ignite. <clears throat> You take that, and now you say, but you know what? I want to deploy 100 of these, or 1,000 of these, or 10,000 of these. Yes, you can go and put all of this into a template language. You can go put it all into a model and make sure that that all goes into sort of this really, 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 really long template, okay? And so just make sure you have a thousand of these listed in there. It's going to be pretty cumbersome. It's also going to be really cumbersome to manage that, right? You're sort of like, great, now i got a thousand of these things. Like, how do I go and update perhaps the host OS, uh, the, the underlying OS, excuse me, of those images? I want to go pave them through. These sorts of things, very, very difficult, very cumbersome. So the thing that we announced Ignite, uh, you know, which we are, which are, we are working on here uh, uh, for release, is the uh, concept called scale sets, okay? And so what this ends up doing is you effectively say similar sort of construct, right? You basically say, okay, here's my NIC, here's my storage account, here's my virtual machine, right? And so this is what sort of my VM looks like. But now you can treat this as sort of a, excuse me, as sort of a unit. And then you can sort of say, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 200 of those. And it will create effectively the exact same replica that many times. Um, and it will be treated as sort of a single management unit. So today you can even do this using a, a looping concept that will go through the template and do that 200 times. But the nice thing about this when it comes to scale sets is it sort of the platform knows it's a group, knows it's a unit, and you can manage them as a unit, which is really, really valuable. And so you can then sort of scale them in an automated way, right? This is 200, it can go to 250. It sort of understands the exact uh, solution that you built here and will do it 10, 20, 30, 40 more times. So it's going to be really powerful for sort of, you know, front-end facing solutions, uh, web apps, SaaS based solutions, what have you. It'll make this uh, uh, really easy to use and really easy to deploy. Um, and so while the current template language is super cool, really exciting, uh, you can do a lot of really powerful stuff. There's so much more still to come. Uh, and of course, you know, stay tuned like always. Uh, we will keep you informed as to when this comes out and is available for you to go play around with. Um, love some thoughts on this. We are building this right now. Uh, the guys down the hall are coding it as we speak. So if you got ideas, if you're like, hey, don't forget this, or you got feedback, hey, love to hear it. Please let us know. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll definitely take that into account. And so um, definitely tell us. You can actually either respond with comments or you can respond with <clears throat> hashtag uh, uh, Azure TWC. First time. Good. I'm pretty good. Uh, I can't read this though. Okay. Anywho, uh, well, that's pretty much all I had today. I hope you like this. My, my office is not yet decorated, so it looks like a terrible 
terrible storm has hit me uh, here, but uh, all of my crap is here. And so sooner or later, this office will not look like um, a, a terrible, terrible hovel. But uh, uh, once it does look pretty nice, I hope hopefully you'll uh, you'll come back and spend some time here on Tuesdays with Corey. So with that, thank you for your time. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Again, leave me comments, send me, send me pokes, uh, and uh, we'll talk more about this. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a good week. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. We also have a few questions that came in, so it's worth answering them. Uh, the first one that I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about was network security groups uh, being available in the portal. Well, it's coming, right? It'll be there. Uh, you know, it's one of the things that we are working on. It's um, uh, definitely a really exciting capability to be able to lock down the different parts of your application, different subnets, et cetera. Uh, and so the ability to configure them in the portal is definitely something uh, we're looking forward to building. Um, so there's that. Uh, the other one was um, asking a little bit about SQL Standard and having it work with Always On. Um, uh, today, my understanding, and you know, uh, is that uh, SQL Server uh, Standard actually doesn't support Always On, um, and so I'll have to uh, go back and talk to the SQL guys and understand sort of what their direction is in that regard. And so uh, we'll get back to you maybe uh, maybe subsequent weeks here as we talk a little bit more about that. And the last one, of course, is about uh, my socks and comments about the fact that my socks are terrible. I think my socks are actually pretty good this week uh oh, they're, not, they're, they're all right they're they're a little bit boring the shoes are nice uh but today is my casual day uh, i'm not meeting with any customers today so i get to wear the you know casual friday whatever uh on a tuesday so you know what's not to like about that uh and so anyway socks are cool don't ever talk about my socks again and uh that's really all i have so any other questions other than about my socks please let me know and uh otherwise have a great day all right bye bye Beginning of uh, uh, the very beginning of Die, of Die Hard Two, where like the bad guy is like in his hotel room and he's doing like Tai Chi's. That's so weird. <laughs> it was Bruce Willis doing uh, foot foot stretches. No, no, no. come on, that's it's coming one. off the plane. Come on, that's one. No, it's not. It's yeah. Christmas time. They're both in, they're both one and two at Christmas time. <sighs> you need to get your Die Hard straight, my friend. You want to come in this office? <laughs> <laughs> You're recording now, aren't you? I am now. Yeah, well, that was a good one. Okay. I can't. John McClane. I thought you were out of your league on Nightline. Uh, all right. You ready? Oh, that was my class. Did you see I did it worked. instinctively? <laughs> oh, my God. I just know what I'm doing. I'm training you all well, right. Mr. Sanders. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.